Hi, welcome to a Mary Ellen Minute. Hi, do you know why you need a horizon line, whether you're doing a moonscape, cityscape, landscape? I'll tell you why. You need a focal point, otherwise boring. So think about a horizon line in two ways. One way is you can have it in the bottom third of your paper, like this. Or, you can have it on the top third of your paper, like this. I'll tell you more in a minute. I have actually got the horizon line in the middle of this paper. And that's not going to work as well as I would like it to work. And the reason for that is, is I'm not going to create enough of a focal point. You can see I'm only going to have just like half of it, so I'm not going to create enough of a feeling of the beautiful sky, because I'm painting a sunset, and what's going to happen is I'm only going to get a little bit of the sunset in, whereas I could use all this bottom part of the paper to create a sunset if I wanted to. So think about that when you're painting. Where do you want your horizon line? Do you want your horizon line at the bottom third or the top third? Because you're the one that's going to create the focal point. Take a look at this one. Now this is one right here with just half of the paper. Not going to work very well. That's not going to be very good. Here's one that has the focal point at the horizon line at the bottom of the paper, so the focal point is over the whole paper. See the difference? Don't you love it? That's the horizon line hint. Choose top third or bottom third. That's your secret.